Hey guys, it's Anna and welcome back to the Dyslexic Reader. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my TBR for the Reading Rush 2020, which I'm super excited about. We're also super excited because my husband is participating this year and he has never participated in any readathon whatsoever. It's my fourth year participating, um, but this year he's decided to participate. I don't think he's going to do the whole week, but he's going to pick out like the seven book challenges and read like one of them this week and then maybe make the rest of them just like his immediate TBR. So that's like super exciting for us. So we've enjoyed picking our TBRs and discussing it together. And I'm going to tell you my TBR today, if I can speak, I've had a long day. But as you might be able to guess from my t-shirt, I have a bit of a theme to my TBR this year. I thought I would do a theme. This is uh, something I've been wanting to read for a while. And I thought this was a perfect excuse to try and binge. So I have read the Percy Jackson series a couple of times and really loved it. But I've never read any of the spin-off series. So I wanted to reread Percy Jackson, reread them all. And then also this summer read The Heroes of Olympus and The Trials of Apollo. I wanted to read those both as well. But I thought I really had to reread Percy Jackson. And I thought this would be a good way to kind of binge them and try to get them done in a week and then when I go into August I can start thinking about rereading the next two um series so I'm going to go through each book in order not in order of the challenges but in order of the books because it doesn't make sense to jump around and tell you um what challenges they are all going to fulfill um I'm not doubling up on anything I am going to read or try to read seven books. I have one book that is not a Percy Jackson or a Rick Riordan book um, and that is my genre that you've always wanted to read more of and I I always read a lot of like Milgrave, a lot of fantasy, a lot of urban fantasy, a lot of um, mythology based literature so none of really Rick Riordan's books would have fit that. So I picked this little Penguin Modern Classic and it's Investigations of a Dog by Franz Kafka and I'm going to put it for translated fiction for the genre that I would love to read more of. How does a dog see the world? How do any of us? In this playful and enigmatic story of a canine philosopher, Kafka explores the limits of knowledge. And I love picking these, either the Penguin Minis, either the modern classics or the original, like black classics, for the reading rush because I'll stay up on Sunday night and read this at midnight and then I'll feel like when I wake up on Monday I've already like achieve something I'm like one book in and I'm never like behind I'm always slightly ahead of myself because one book's already done so any reading I do on Monday is actually like Tuesday's reading if you think of, of like a book a day so um that's why I love picking one of these so I thought that I would use that to fill that one prompt that nothing else would fulfill so then I'm going to go through the Percy Jackson books um I do not own any of the series our libraries are not open yet so and they won't be open before the reading rush I'll not be able to go and get it but I was able to get um the one book that I don't have physically on my kindle so we're shorted for that but I'm going to start with The Lightning Thief for a book of a movie you have seen I have seen the movie ages ago I had read the book first um and then I remember my brother loving the movie when he was little like he was young when it came out so um he like remembers seeing it and liking it when it first came out in the cinemas or whatever and he knew that I had read the book and liked them so a couple of years ago it was on tv one day and he was like we should just sit down with a cup of tea and watch this because I remember really liking it and we were both kind of staring at each other like this is so bad but I have seen the lightning thief movie um so that is going to cover that challenge then for Percy Jackson and the Sea of Monsters I am going to use that for a read a book completely outside your house now with current circumstances I can't not only because of the pandemic but because like it would be absolutely unheard of for us to get enough time without rain to sit outside to read a whole book like to be guaranteed like because I was thinking well I could get an audiobook of it and listen to it on a daily walk you can't get out for a daily walk because like not every day is dry and I'm not going out in the absolutely torrential rain to listen to an audiobook so I have decided I have a bay window in my living room we have an armchair right in the bay window and I'm going to put it right in. I'm going to open the window up if weather permits and I'm going to, the TV's also like almost beside it. So I'm going to turn the TV around to face me and I'm going to put on like forest ambience. I love listening to like ambience um, when I'm reading. So I'm going to pick like a real nature one like um forest or something really out, like outdoorsy. And I'm going to put the ambience on like facing right towards me and sit right in the nook of the window and open the window if I can and I'm going to count that for my outside read. Then 
Percy Jackson's and the Titan's Curse um, is going to be for takes place on a different continent because these take place in America and I am in Europe. Um, Battle of the Labyrinth is going to be for my birthstone because um, July is my birthday so it's ruby so we've got plenty of nice um, deep reds on this cover and Percy Jackson and the Last of the Olympians for the first book that you touch I will put my clip in of me picking this book to show you I laid them all out I got my husband to jumble them up and then I just touched um one um I'm gonna go with this one out of the books and this was it and I was able to fit all the other prompts around that and then finally for a book that starts with the word the I'm going to go with the lost hero which is the first in the heroes of Olympus um series which I have read before I've read the first two or three books of the series I believe a long time ago but I don't really remember it I struggled I believe with multiple POVs um at the time so I'm gonna give it another crack but I was able to get it on my kindle so I'm going to um read that for the last one and that will kind of kickstart me into the other two series so I'll be reading the first of the heroes of Olympus the whole Percy Jackson series and my little penguin mini modern classic to kick myself off I think that's a really good tip for anyone if this is maybe your first year or you struggle with previous years read a short book that like first night the first thing when you get up on Monday or um if you can stay up to midnight on the Sunday night read a really short book a short story um a couple of times I've done graphic novels or like mangas as well um for the first challenge and then as I say so all your Monday reading is like Tuesday reading and then if it takes you like two days to do you one book that's fine so because you're aiming for a book a day um, but it means if one you have two days for one of the books um, if something happens so that's um, what I like to do I feel a lot of pressure I have the three previous years I've always completed seven books in the week so I feel like the first it was kind of fun it was like oh it was my first one I was so into it that's why and then the second one was just like oh I done it two years in a row but now after like I've done three in a row I really feel like it's a streak that needs to continue um but I don't know what we're going to be doing in terms of if I'm going to be doing the video challenges, if I'm going to be vlogging up a couple of times. Um, we have a caravan on the coast and a couple of times I have done the tube -a I've gone to the caravan for the whole week so that there's no um, distractions because we don't have um, internet up there. But that means that I also don't have internet so I can't like participate in all like the, the daily video and Instagram challenges and stuff. So I don't know how much I'm going to participate in those but definitely if you want to keep tabs on my reading to follow my Twitter and Goodreads and Instagram which are all linked down below I'll probably do almost like a mini vlog on Instagram in my stories which I tend to do anyway for readathons and things updates and then obviously I'll be back on here with a wrap up at the end of the month so that's it for today i hope you're all happy i hope you're all healthy let me know if you're participating down below share your tbrs down below i want to watch like a whole load of them and get hyped for the whole thing i'm going to go out at the weekend and buy piles of snacks and stuff to get ready which is really silly but i enjoy it and uh hopefully i'll see you in my next video bye